ambao watakuwa wanajihusisha au watakuwa wametangazwa kujihusisha katika udanganyifu. Kutuelekea kule inaelezwa kwamba hali iko shwari. To make his comments and release the results for 2023. Karibu wasiri. Yeah, thank you very much PS. Your Excellency the Governor of Washington County, the Principal Secretary of Means of Education, Direct Department, State Department for PESIC, the Chairman, Kenya National Examination Council, the CEO and the CEO uh, Teacher Service Commission, my Chairman, uh, Senate, Chairman National Assembly, Madam Speaker, and all the members of Parliament present here, not forgetting the host, Ms. Kirui, the principal, thank you very much, the county commissioner, and all the senior officials from the Ministry of Education, good morning. Yes. Members of the fourth estate, thank you very much, good morning. Yeah, thank you very much. This morning, I had an exceptional engagement with this excellent the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samai Ruto, as a prelude to this event, during which I will be releasing the 2023 Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education Examination Research. Our lengthy conversation also attended by my senior education sector leaders who are together with me here, focused on the broad, deliberate, and robust reforms that our country is so able to rolling out in the face of a challenging economic environment. One of the discussions was on teacher employment, and uh, my chairman is here. His Excellency made it clear that in the next financial year, we will again be employing another 20,000 more uh, teachers. <laughs> During our engagement, his Excellency President Ruto made it apparently clear to us about the government's unwavering commitment and invited attention to the provision of quality education to all Kenyan children right from the ECD level to university. The President instructed us to ensure that there will be no Kenyan child who would be left behind in the enrollment to school retention transition and progression until completion of the basic education level in line with our constitution. Additionally, the president gave us firm instructions to particularly ensure that the runners from all sets of households, especially those whose families are at the bottom of the economic pyramid, are financially supported to access all levels of running in tandem with the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. The release of that 1.34 period to primary, junior, and the secondary schools. To purchase the president's commitment, the provision of the free running program in the primary school level and the free tuition learning program at the junior and the secondary school levels, the National Treasury released the Kenya shillings that 1.34 billion to support runners enrolled in the subsector. These funds have effectively cleared the way for a smooth opening of schools for the first term of the 2024 calendar year, countrywide, as effective from today. This disbursement was distributed as follows. Free primary education, 4.74 billion. Capitation for junior schools, 7.60 billion. And I'm also happy that His Excellency and uh, his gam the government gave out the examination and infiltration fees 2.80 billion, unlike before, where uh, those who worked in infiltrators and the rest used to wait for almost a year, today we're actually completing each and every payment. There will be nothing pending. <laughs> Secondary schools, government has given out 16.20 billion, making the total that 1.34 billion. I did have an engagement that was last week on a Tuesday between my peers, 
the CS National Treasury and the PS National Treasury, and the money was released to us on Wednesday. We have dispersed this money to all the schools, and I'm sure that the money must by now be in the respective accounts of the schools, may it be primary, junior school, or secondary schools. This year, our first cohort of the CPC will be transitioning to grade eight and the junior school. Although we are all so excited at the, this milestone, we are also aware that the cohort will be transitioning to grade nine in 2025 and could be expected to pose a massive strain on our existing infrastructure. To prevent this crisis, the government is set to spend 12.8 billion to facilitate the construction of classrooms in the junior schools in conjunction with members of parliament. Through these funds, we expect to have 15,015 classrooms ready for use in junior schools for grade nine next year. In line with the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform Report, the Ministry of Education has rationalized the number of running areas and the curriculum designs in terms of scope and integration of subjects within learning areas as a way of eliminating content overload and overlaps in the basic education. The Ministry has already issued instructions to schools to ensure that the implementation of these changes starts with the effect from today in all schools hosting CPC runners. I wish to assure the country that the Ministry working with the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development has started a process of reviewing textbooks around the rationalized designs. In the meantime, I urge teachers, teachers to continue using the existing already approved textbooks since they have relevant content, tasks and assessments for runners as guided by the curriculum designs. I have directed the KICD to ensure that the curriculum designs are updated in the KICD website by the end of this week. We did reduce the number of comparison subjects, as you are aware, from five to two. In a departure from tradition, this is the first KCSC examination research to be released under the new grading structure that was implemented in the year 2023 KCSC examination. This was approved and as authorized by the NEC Act, and we have been able to implement this. Under this system, the overall grade at KCSA examination has considered mathematics, the best performed language subject, among them English language, Kiswahili, Kenya Sign Language, and the best performed five subjects. As you will find out when I release the research, the new reform MESA will allow a larger number of students to pursue courses of their choice at their universities, diploma and achievement training at certificate and action levels that was previously uh, not uh, the case as the system was more restrictive. It is clear from the new grading system that the ministry is now focusing on ensuring that our candidates are mandatory literacy, English or Kiswahili, and the numerous skills in mathematics to enable them to pursue their careers in Tibet institutions, universities, and colleges. Arising from the changes in the new grading system, therefore, I'm directing the Kenya Universities and the College Central Placement Service, COOPS, and the universities to align their cluster points and the entry requirements with the new reforms to avoid disadvantaging the candidates. I ask the NEC to complete this, their process and hand over the final research to COOPS to pave the way for the start of the placement process. Additionally, I direct the COOPS to mount a robust career awareness campaign among the 2023 KCSE candidates to ensure all students understand the new TVET and the university entry requirements under the higher education funding model that was launched last year. More importantly, I direct the COOPS to immediate press, immediate put in press measures to allow the 2023 KCSE candidates wishing to join Tibetan institutions to apply for their courses ahead of the March 
2024 admissions. For the first time, the Ministry introduced a new system of correcting examination materials from the 576 distribution centers countrywide twice each day. This meant that in the morning, usually at 7 a.m. daily, center managers could only pick up the first paper of the day. After the candidates saw the first paper of the day, the center managers were then required to return to the distribution centers to pick up the second paper that the candidates could sit in the afternoon. I'm happy to report that this change in examination distribution, coupled with the efficient uh, uh, work of examination professionals, was able to substantially reduce the cases of early exposure of examination, examination papers. I wish to thank all the center managers who took their time to effect the double correction policy and uphold the integrity of our examination. The release of the KCSA examination will be followed by the release of the Kipusea reports for candidates who sat the grade six assessment in 2023 in the next few days. I had your parents, guardians, and teachers to scrutinize the KPSEA reports to ensure they use the research to monitor Rana progress as they transition to grade seven. Allow me to register my appreciation to His Excellency the President, Dr. William Ruto, and his government for the support they offered us during the administration of the 2023 KCSC. I also wish to recognize with appreciation the support accorded to the Ministry of Education by my counterparts in other government ministries, departments, and agencies during the 2023 KCSA examination. The major agency cooperation is guided by my colleagues, Professor Kindiki and Waro of the Ministry of Interior and Coordination of National Government, and IT and Digital Economy, respectively, was impressive. Administering the 2023 KCSA examinations came in the face of adverse weather conditions occasioned by the El Nino phenomenon. This caused massive challenges in the delivery of materials to some examination centers that were cut off by floods and flooding rivers. Delivery of examination materials from naked quarters to the 576 distribution centers countrywide was also not spared by the effects of the heavy strains Every rains. We had to resort to air transportation in some areas to surmount the challenges in our bid to ensure that all candidates received their question papers. The examination administration was also threatened by insecurity in some parts of the country, such as punditry related instances, as well as, well as acts of thuggery. I wish to thank all the teachers, field officers, security officers, NEC officers, and other stakeholders who proved the odds to make the conduct of the examination possible. I also wish to thank members of the public who came in, in to support the, pro, the process in various ways. Allow me to also commend the 2023 KCSA examiners who reported the 40 marking centers immediately they were called upon after the conclusion of the administration of the examination. As I promised during the release of the 2023 KCP examination results, all the examiners have now received uh, their payments. And immediately after uh, this, uh, uh, through MPESA, we are making sure that by the end of the day, this must be done. Overally, I wish to thank the Almighty God for the successful completion of the 2023 KCSA examination administration cycle. I also thank you for assembling here this morning for this exercise of releasing the 2023 KCSA results for the 899,453 candidates who concluded the examination on November 24th uh, uh, 2023, and are now eager to join various higher running institutions to pursue careers of their choice. When I released the 2023 KCP, when I released the KCP examination in November 23rd, uh, 2023, uh, uh, November, I promised that the Kenya National Examination Council would administer a supplementary examination for 9,000 candidates who failed to sit the examination. 
Upon further audits and scrutiny of the number of candidates who actually failed to sit the examinations, the Council has only been able to trace 2,000 eligible runners. Since the number so far located is more to warrant the national examination, it has been decided that the 2,000 candidates join from one starting January 8th, uh, 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 January 15th, that is next week, uh, and they are allowed to see the qualifying examination later. They will either be advised to ensure they sit the individual qualifying examinations by the time they join Form 3 to enable them to register to see the KCS examination at Form 4. I direct the Council to raise further guidelines regarding the entry examination. During the 2023 KCS examination, a total of 899,453 candidates sat the examination compared to 881,416 candidates in 2022. This represents an increase of 18,037 candidates, which is 2.05 percent. However, I should note that the number of candidates that sat the KCSC examination this year, last year, was raised by 3,685 compared with the number that actually registered to see the examination. I'm concerned with the number that failed to see the examination, as it could point to a situation where some schools could be inflating the figures of registered candidates to meet, to meet the minimum threshold of 30 candidates required to be enlisted as an examination center. Although there could be more reasons for the missing candidates, any misrepresentation of figures could imply a wastage of public funds since the government pays examination fees for candidates based on the data submitted by schools. I therefore direct the relevant directorate of quality assurance to work with the Kenya National Examination Council to investigate the 3,685 candidates who failed to see the 2023 KCSA examination with a view to enhancing the true identity and whereabouts of the, of the 899,453 candidates who sat the 2023 KCSA examination, 450,554 were male, while 448 899 were female, representing 50.09% 50 and 49.91% of the total candidate respectively. This indicates that the country has achieved gender parity at the secondary education level. During the year 2023, KCSE examination in revenue counties had a significant entry of more merit than female candidates. This was Garissa. 66.39% uh, uh, compared to 33.61% Mandera, Wajia, Turukana, Samburu, Narok, Umabei, West Pokot, Mombasa, Migori, and Ramu. While nine other counties had a significant entry more female than male candidates. Uh, this being Fihiga, Eregoy Maracuet, Kirinyaga, Meru, Kiambu, Nairobi, Kisumu, and Kitui. The number of candidates who were aged 16 years and below increased from 12,710 in the year 2023 to 16,040, which was 1.776% in the year 2023. The highest percentage of candidates registered for the 2023 KCS examination were within the appropriate age bracket of between 17 to 19 years, constituting 632,288, which was 70.01% of the total candidates. The percentage of candidates who were 20 years and above constituted 254,810, which was 28.214%. Out of the 30 subjects offered in 
2023, 12 subjects recorded a significant improvement in performance. These subjects were mathematics, and uh, we thank the teachers for this effort and the students, because for the first time, we are actually confirming an improvement in mathematics. The other one was Kiswahiri, Paology, uh, uh, CRE, Business Studies, Germany, Music, Chemistry, Building Construction, French, and Electricity. 14 subjects uh, uh, also recorded a drop in performance. These were English language, Kenya Sign Language, Physics, Computer Studies, History and Government. And for the first time, we are seeing a decline in performance in the history and the government. It is normally done in the afternoon. You can see now that Ari Exposa, <laughs> that Ari Exposa was missing. Uh, inquiry, geography used to be done in the afternoon. You can also see there was a decline. Equal agriculture. And some of the subjects here, which used to be done in the afternoon, we are seeing a decline in performance. Power mechanics, metal work, woodwork, drawing and design, and art and design, home science, there was a decline in performance, including Islamic uh, religion. Female candidates recorded better mean score performance than male candidates in five subjects, that being English language, Kiswahiri, CRE, Home Science, and Art and Design. Male candidates recorded better mean score performance than female candidates in 10 subjects, this being mathematics, biology, chemistry, general science, history and government, geography, agriculture, computer studies, and business studies. There were 1 million two, there were 1,216 candidates, which is 0.14 percent, who obtained an overall grade A in the year 2023, compared to 1 million 146,000, which was 0.13 percent of the candidates in the previous year. That is 2023, 2022. The number of candidates who attained the minimum university entry qualification uh, this year, C plus and above, was 201,133, which was 22.27% in the year 2023, uh, compared to 173,345, which was 19. 0.62% in the year 2022. This is as a result of the application of the new grading system that reduced the number of comparison subjects required to compute the mean grade. The number of candidates attaining a pass grade uh, D plus and above was 526,222, which is 58.27% in the year 2023, compared to 522,588, which was 559.14% in the year 2022. The national schools produced the highest number of candidates with an overall mean grade of A, where we had 889 A's from national schools, which was 2.486%. Followed by extra county schools, uh, 172 A's, which was 0.096%. Private schools, uh, we had 143, uh, which was 0.221%. County schools, we had five, which was 0.004%. And the sub-county, and I would like to give an embassy this, these are day schools which had seven A's, and over, uh, which was 0.001%. Overall, I'm brewed by the quality of, of grades that are coming out of our uh, day schools that produced 283 candidates with a grade of A and minor, and A minor, in the 2023 KCSA examination. I urge stakeholders to
to invest more in the sub-county schools where more of our runners attend schools. You will also be able to see from the table that uh, sometimes we assume that everybody who goes to a national school gets a university uh, uh, entry, but you can see about 20 of the candidates are the mean of our D minus from national schools. So it is not always the case that anybody and everybody who goes to a national school will be able to make it to a university. And you have seen the miracles and what is being done from day schools. As the, as the cabinet secretary, I'm also pained by the fact that a large number of candidates, 48,174, or 5.33%, still ended up scoring a mean grade of E in the year 2023 KCSE examination, even after the means used a more flexible system of computing the final overall uh, candidate research. I therefore direct the Directorate of Quality Assurance to work with the field officers and teachers to investigate this E-grade cases in each county of the country and submit a report to me within one month for further action. As a country, we must start interrogating data and evidence to enable us to make critical decisions that could ensure that we realize our return on investment from all the resources that the government puts in the education sector. Now, we come to examination irregularities. As much as we try to minimize, and we were successful in minimizing our exposure, and as the number of irregularities we used to experience there before, we still had a few cases of irregularities. There were a total of 4,113 4, candidates who were reported to have been in full in examination irregularities in the year 2023 KCSA examination. Of this, we have cancelled results of four cases of reported impersonation after completing investigations. The results of the remaining 4,190 candidates who were suspected to have engaged in examination irregularities have also been with head pending the completion of investigations in the, their cases within a period of 20 days from today. The council is empowered in law as provided in the Kenya National Examination Council uh, uh, handling of examination irregularities, rules of 2015, legal note number 132 of 2015, rule 8 to withhold the results of any candidate or examination center suspected to have been in a forum in an examination irregularity or malpractice pending the completion of investigations. It is unfortunate that a few contracted professionals are still insistent on ruining the future of our runners by subjecting them to examination malpractices. 120 contracted professionals were reported to have been in forward in hiding examination malpractices. Farm disciplinary action will be taken against such teachers. I also wish to notify the country that the ministry has now set up the National Appeal Examination Appeal Tribunal. My chairman and the members of the Education Committee will remember that we had an engagement in this and undertook to ensure that we evaluate the members, which we have done in line with Section 40B2 of the NEC Act 2012. I therefore urge any Kenyan agreed by any process of the Council to seek redress through the tribunal. Accessing the 2023 KCSE examination research. And as I told you last time, uh, we are not having a service provider, so the SMS system, we are not going to have that, but we have a system in place that people will be able to access the results immediately after this. The council will dispatch the 2023 KCSX examination research to sub-county educational officers for distribution to examination centers 
within their regions. Candidates are asked to correct their provisional research from their respective uh, schools, that is examination centers. A candidate can also accept the individual 2023 KCSA research online through a link on the NEC website or directly through the URL https research neck.ac.ke. Let me repeat again. One can direct their access either through the NEC website or directly through the URL https research dot nec k n e c dot a c dot k e and you will be able to get your research this time round we have worked with the engineers and the experts and we are sure that the website and this particular system is working so that uh, Kenyans will not be able to have the kind of in, uh, 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 the kind of inconvenience that we had the last time uh, when using a service provider. You will be required to enter your candidate's index number and the names as per the registration data for the 2023 KCSA examination. The results will be available immediately after this exercise. I now declare the 2023 KCSA examination results officially released and wish all the candidates the best in their future academic journey. I also wish all runners, teachers, parents, guardians, and all the stakeholders a happy and prosperous new year 2024. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, we shall now have, we are now going through the ceremony where the official results are being handed over to our cabinet secretary. Okay, let us uh, go for closing prayer. Uh, in the name of Allah, 
the most gracious, the most merciful. Thank you for giving us this opportunity as education subsector for official releasing of KCSE 2023 at Girls, Honored Moy Girls. We thank our seniors for steering this exercise and uh, we appreciate God for this time. We appreciate all the sectors who have played the role to ensure that the success of this exercise. As we leave this place, we pray for all of us journey masses as we go back to serve the Kenyan children in different capacity, those of us who are leaders in the county, the National Assembly, the Senate who are here, who have uh, joined us to make sure that this exercise is successful in this place. I also appreciate uh, my girls fraternity for giving us this opportunity to make sure that the exercise is success, headed by our able principal and all the leaders who are gathered here today. We thank Almighty Allah for this opportunity that is very great to Na mtazamaji ni rasmi sasa matokeo ya mwaka 2023 KCC ya mitangazwa na waziri Ezekiel Machogu kule Eldoret na tunaelezwa kwamba kwa sasa tunaona kwamba ni wanafunzi 1899 na watatu ndio waliandika mtihani huo tukiangazia kwamba watahiniwa 1685 ambao walijiandikisha kufanya mtihani huo lakini hawa kufanya mtihani huo mtazamaji pia mtazamaji kumbuka kwamba kutokana na matokeo hao ambayo yametangazwa na waziri ni kwamba uh, uh, wa, uh, wa, uh, wa, uh, wanafunzi au watahiniwa wanaume au uh, kiume ambao wamefanya mtihani huo ni 1450544 na wale wa kike ni 1448899 mtazamaji pia tunaona kwamba kwa umri tukiangazia mtazamaji wale walio na umri kati ya umri wa miaka 17 na 19 walikuwa ni watahiniwa 1632288 waliofanya mtihani huo tukiangazia wale ambao walipata mfanya mtihani huo na wana umri zaidi ya miaka 20 walikuwa ni watahiniwa 1250854817 waliofanya mtihani huo mtazamaji ndio matokeo ambayo yametangazwa na waziri wa elimu Ezekiel Machogu tukiendelea tu mtazamaji Matokeo hao tunaona kwamba katika masomo kadhaa haswa tukiangazia masomo kumi na mawili ambayo matokeo yao yameimarika mwaka huo 2023 katika matokeo hayo ya KCSC baadhi yao ni hisabati, Kiswahili, Biolojia, Siri, tukiangazia biashara, Ujerumani, uh, tukiangazia pia Ufaransa mtazamaji Kifaransa na pia tukiangazia kuna uh, matokeo ya masomo kumi na nne ambayo pia tunaona kwamba yamepungua matokeo ambayo hayaje Amerika kwa mwaka huo 2023 KCSE tunaona kwamba ni somo la fizikia, historia, IRE mtazamaji ni baadhi tu ya masomo ambayo yametangazwa na waziri na tukiangazia pia baadhi ya masomo ambayo yameimarishwa au yameimarika sana upande wa kike tunaona kwamba kuna ya, ha, 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 masomo ya home science mtazamaji ambapo pia tunatukiangazia upande wa wanaume tunaona kwamba kuna hisabati tunaona kwamba kuna biolojia, kemia tunaona kwamba kuna kilimo pia na tukiangazia haswa masomo na jinsi walivyofanya katika uh, tukiangazia uh, mat, uh tukiangazia um, mambo ambayo yaliangaziwa haswa tukiangazia alama ambazo walipata wanafunzi hao waliofanya mtihani huo KCSE mwaka 2023 uh, uh, watahini wa elfu moja miambili kumi na sita walipata alama A katika mtihani huu tukilinganisha na mwaka uliopita wa elfu mbili kumi uh, na mbili watahini wa hao ambao walipata alama A walikuwa elfu moja miamoja rubaini na sita uh, tukiangazia wale ambao wamepata alama ya cha uh, plus kuendelea au zaidi ya hayo tu ambao wanafaa kujiunga na vio vikuu ni uh, wanafunzi au watahini wa elfu miambili na moja miamoja ya 30 na watatu tukiangazia mwaka uliopita tunaona kwamba wanafunzi hao walizidi ya hiyo na tunaona kwamba tukiangazia alama ya D uh, uh, a plus tunaona kwa zaidi ni kwamba wani wanafunzi 1526222 tukiangazia mwaka 2022 tunaona kwamba wanafunzi ambao walipata alama hiyo na zaidi ni 1222588 ambao ni alama kidogo chini ya mwaka huu wa 2023 KCSC ambapo wanafunzi hao walifanya mtihani mtazamaji tukiangazia wale ambao walipata alama ya A 
au kipenda e tunaona kwamba ni wanafunzi au watahiniwa 1448 na wanne na kwa sasa pia tunaona kwamba au mwaka uliopita ni mwaka ni wanafunzi walipata e ni wanafunzi 1832 nielezo kwamba waziri kwa sasa anazungumza tuelekee kule Team we have had this year is that over 200 A and A minors come from our day schools, and uh, moving forward, we are going to make sure that we have enough and adequate infrastructure in our day schools, and equally uh, uh, ensure that we have enough teachers in that particular area because 66% of our students are actually in day schools. For the first time, this one is happening in outside Nairobi, next center where these results are announced. Everyone excited. Who informed you and how did you get this to have these results in your direct? Yeah, thank you very much. We have been doing it each and every time in Nairobi, but uh, moving forward, because anywhere within the country, may it be in Edores, may it be in Kisumu, may it be in Mombasa, we are still in Kenya. So, uh, moving forward, we will not only be doing it in Nairobi, but moving around the regional centers and even the county centers within the country. We have not seen, uh, the, the, you have not mentioned a student maybe who scored a high grade A from where it's leaving many parents or many students just hanging in balance. Uh, we, we don't do that because we say the ranking, uh, I think, was suspended some time ago. And uh, uh, of course, they would be able to check this one from their respective schools. Uh, if it is a national or even a day school, uh, once the students access their research, they would be able to know if it is an A of 83 uh, points, or if it is an A of 84 points, or 85, they would be able to know that once they access their research from the schools. Uh, was there a schools are reopening today, and we know that uh, in a week's time, four months will be joining. Uh, the concern coming from parents and uh, some of the local dailies have noted that today that schools have revised, have been forced to revise uh, fee structures, even though there is a directive in place. Uh, is this a concern the ministry that, it, uh, that is um, addressing at the moment? Yeah, thank you very much. We are actually making sure that each and every school uh, conforms with the directives issued by the ministry and the amount of school fees which is supposed to be paid for national schools is 53,000 Kenya shillings, and for county schools is 45,000. So our sub-county directors of education and the county uh, uh, directors of education have been informed and instructed to ensure that no other school, no such school, reviews any additional uh, uh, school fees. And we are going to make sure we follow that. And in case you get any, kindly uh, give us the information. Well, uh, the, 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 the basis of their concern was there is that um, times have changed. We all understand the current economic situation. And besides that, we also have an issue of uh, parents who are looking for sloth in, uh, in schools. There is um, a concern coming from some people that uh, principals are asking for money to admit uh, students in certain schools, uh, sort of kickbacks. Yeah, thank you. You know, admissions are done uh, by the ministry, and that exercise has, has already been done, such that the principals don't have a railway where they can be able to admit the students. If it is this particular school, uh, it is done through a computerized system, and that one is already done. So the principal will not be able to have an opportunity of admitting students because that is already done. But was it, there are those students who you said that they missed out on examination, around 2,000, and they were allowing them to join, and they would be sitting the exam when they are in Form 3. How, how, how is, before they uh, register Form 4, uh, many are asking, how, where are they, how will they be found to go to school? Yeah, thank you very much. We have been doing an assessment, uh, a kind of mop-up, and initially we were thinking that the number was 9,000, but uh, later on we were able to confirm that the only uh, number we have is 2,000. So we know where they are, and they will be able to be given admission, uh, most likely in the county or sub-county schools. They will be able to proceed with their studies because These are who we, the exam. We, we have a policy of 100%, and uh, after they are done two years in secondary schools, we will then be able to administer an exam 
before they are able to undertake their form for exam. Are you worried with the number, highest number of those students who have failed exam this year? Yes, as I've said, uh, there are 5% who got an E. The quality assurance officers and the teachers, we are going to make sure that we get what the problem is. So that progressively moving forward, we see uh, how we can be able to get an improvement. Because we want, moving forward, the lowest degree to be a D plus and above. Waziri, kwa muktasari tu, tukependa kwa kutumia lugha ya Kiswahili. Tupe muktasari tu kusina na matokeo ya mtiani wa PCC, mwaka kumbini, shina tatu. Yangalia kamera. Asante sana. Siku ya reo, tare nane, januari, tumeweza kutuwa matokeo ya PCC, mwaka wa erumbiri na isina tatu. Na wale watota mbae wa meitimu, kwenda katika fio viku, Mwona hapa watakuwa watoto tuwa miambiri na moja elf Na watoto wetu umefanya mzuri Hile kitu ambaye tunasema ni kuamba kira mtoto Yura ambaye apati na fashu kuenda kituo kiku Aweze kutipatia na fashu ya kungia katika ativia Tuna wapongeza watoto, tuna wapongeza warimu Na tena inifiti le tasu wetu pia Tuna wapongeza kwa fashu ambaye wapongeza Asante sana Thank you Thank you Thank you.